Tell us a little bit about what you do and who you are. I'm a curator and writer based in Hack. Um, but I'm also doing loads of international projects. Um, so I've worked as a curator in China, in Korea, in Milan, um, and at the moment I'm working in Lisbon. Um, so I'm working between design and architecture. I'm going to move on to your first image because um, I want you to talk about the, the show that you curated in Milan, which became one of the most talked about events during the Milan Furniture Fair. Well, um, yeah, this is a picture from Hacked, um, and this was a week of like events and workshops. The idea of the week was to try and find different ways of kind of presenting designers' ideas and trying to find things that are not just like stuff on plinths. The context of this was that it was in a shopping center, and so it was like surrounded by objects and vases and mirrors and clocks, and um, and they asked to do do want to do something related to design, um, but it seemed appropriate to have a bit more fun and be a bit more playful and start looking at the new technologies that designers are working with and we had a kind of um, a science team making um, a handmade particle accelerator, we had kind of performance art, we had um, sound design, we had a kind of DIY 3D printer and this is Dominic Wilcox, he wrote on Twitter that he wanted to race a 3D printer because they're notoriously slow things, um, so he wanted to have a race with a 3D printer which I thought might make quite a funny event. This is a photograph by um, a Spanish photographer. She's called Cristina de Mittel. It's a photography series called Afronauts. And at the moment, I'm doing some research into design in Africa, the kind of urbanized parts of Africa, like um, Lagos and um, in Nairobi and places like that, where not only is um, technology, emerging technology, something that's being sort of um, appropriated in really interesting ways. Like, I think mobile banking was invented in Africa and so on. Um, but yeah, there's some really interesting design coming out of that place and um, there's the Maker Fair in Lagos happening in a month or so and hopefully I might go and see what's going on there. The narrative of African design is always quite sort of like, you know, we made it with this and that and recycling and so on. But what I find interesting about this is the technology aspect or the technology angle um, and this is part of a kind of there's also loads of emerging science fiction writers in Africa and science fiction films in Africa which I also find really interesting because science fiction is quite quite an interesting way of kind of designing in its own sense kind of city wise and so on landscapes um, so yeah I think it's I, I would be really curious to hear of any other African tips people have um, particularly metropolis metropolises in Africa particularly yeah so what's happening here? <laughs> this is um, this is Tour Van Balen. Um, this was a show I did in King's Cross, um, like a load of events and performances. Um, there's a real um, a real sense of urgency for a kind of more critical design and a kind of conversation about design. Um, and I was on um, part of this event called the Black Book Project, um, which was curated by uh, Gillian Russell and Danny Abmus. And um, they basically put together a series of talks between, between curators and designers and they were really trying to find out where critical design is, who's writing it, who's doing it, why isn't there more of it. Um, and it was a kind of urgent, it felt like a really urgent topic that they really wanted to kind of uncover. And what do you mean by critical design? So they're talking about, so for example, Tur here, they're, they're not making products to sell at design fairs. They're kind of making experiments or kind of social commentaries through their work. So they're not, they're not, they don't have an, an aim to be as part of a kind of manufacture, manufacturing process. Um, but they would rather be involved in um, a discussion or a kind of more social or anthropological or scientific kind of narrative. I really think this is terrible. Um, and this is this is a show in Venice this year, um, and it was at the Venice Biennale um, <clears throat> in the Norwegian Pavilion. And I just think it's probably um, what I mean by um, when I mean by curating design and architecture in a different way. It's like different to this, um, sort of different to putting a model of something and talking about it um, as if that's the real thing, or as if putting a model on something is enough to make an exhibition. It's just not good enough anymore. You know, you need to have a higher standard. So what was your opinion on the Venice Biennale as a whole? I mean, some people thought it was a great, that the, the, the theme this year was um, common ground about how architecture can have a, a bit more social purpose rather than being about expensive icons and, and luxury houses. But did you think um, it was well curated? Do you think it was interesting or is it the, the, the sort of the, the thing we're trying to move away from in your opinion? Well, yeah, it was curated by David Chipperfield, who's an architect who makes really expensive houses and museums around the world. 
and I really like his buildings and I'm a massive fan of buildings, sounds ridiculous, but I am, you know, I really, I really like architecture, I really like going to visit them, I really like seeing those spaces, but um, I don't think that that makes for an interesting exhibition like that, you know, I think you need to have a, a little bit more, um, a little bit more of an agenda for your audience. Um, I'm working on um, the Lisbon Architecture Triennale, which is happening next September, so we have a year to go. Our title is Close Closer. And we're looking at different ways of practicing architecture. In Portugal at the moment, there's, um, well, obviously a massive problem um, economically and so on, but also architects just don't have work. So what else can they, A, what else can they do with their skills um, and B, who else is practicing architecture and who else is responsible for, you know, changing the city, working in the city, solving problems. One of the ways we'd really like to engage in the city is by um, trying to um, engage with kind of practices that may have solutions for the city that have been caused by the crisis. Um, so we have this crisis buster grant program where you can apply for two and a half thousand euros to, um, to basically make an intervention in the city where, there, where, for example, the government has failed or where funding has been cut. We'll try and step in and provide um, a bit of money for people to, um, to kind of help out. So in a way, is the Biennale you're cu curating in uh, Lisbon the antithesis of the Biennale that David Chipfield curated in Venice? Well, we have a lot more time than they did. That's one thing. Um, we had two years to prepare, which they certainly they did not have. Um, but we, we, also, um, we also have a totally different agenda. Yeah, we, we're interested in the next generation of architects. We're not, yeah, we, we're not really interested in showcasing things that have happened and we want to showcase things that will happen, the people that will change the future of architecture and the new, you know, who's going to be, the, who's going to be creating the next city and what's that going to look like? And that's what we're interested in. Beatrice, it's been fascinating talking to you. Thanks very much to Beatrice. <laughs>